What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Durag J back in the fray. I'm here all day. Yo, so it's been a minute since I put out a Pink Floor reaction. Honestly, I was about to go a completely different route with my Pink Floyd thing. I noticed that a lot of people were saying, go to Wish You Were Here next. And uh, y'all, as much as I love to, you know what I'm saying, I take y'all's suggestions and, and, and heed them and consider them. Um, I wanted to be different with the, because every time I see somebody react to Pink Floyd, it's always the popular stuff. I wanted to do the stuff that wasn't as well known. So I was going to do, because I didn't know that Dark Side of the Moon wasn't their first album. Their first album was actually The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. So I was about to do a Saucer Full Secret because I'm thinking, okay, well, that's their second album. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm going to be different. I'm not going to just do the stuff that everybody that's popular. I'm going to do the stuff that I'm going to say, like I said, I'm going to go in order. But like I said, I ain't realized that Dark Side of the Moon is actually that what? Like fifth album? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Their eighth album. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in order from... Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were, Animals, The Wall, on and on. And I'm going to go backwards once I get to the last one, which is Endless River. And then I'm going to start over again from the beginning. So we're going to go from end to beginning instead of from beginning to end. All right. So y'all lucky because I wasn't about to do Wish You Were here. I was going to do, <laughs> I was going to do Sauce for Secrets because, well, I like to do my own thing. But with that being said, Pimpin'. I'm going to go ahead and put this out here right now. No, I'm not doing lyric videos. I'm not doing lyric breakdowns. And I'm going to just go ahead and quickly su summarize why I'm not doing that. Because, dog, there are plenty of people on YouTube that break down Pink Floyd albums, sit here and try to interpret it and all this kind of stuff. Man, I don't care about none of that. I want to feel the music, bro. I want to feel the music in my soul. I can't do that if I'm sitting here trying to be Sherlock Holmes trying to figure out what well this lyric means this to me. No. I'm like I said, I'm potentially what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up doing reviews to songs that are gonna be separate from reactions. In the future though. Not now. So before anybody comments and say, but the lyrics, dog, I hear you. I hear you. I'm not doing it. If you don't like it, there's plenty of other channels that will sit there and try to explain to you. What, and it always ends up coming out what's not because people are going to always say it's not right because your interpretation is going to be different than mine. Right? So I might hear every once in a while, if I hear something that just strikes me, I'll, I'll pause it and then I'll tell y'all my interpretation or my thoughts about that. But I'm not going to do no full lyrical breakdown. I know it's deep, philosophical, all that stuff. That's cool. You got your own thing. That's your own time. You want to sit down and analyze and stuff. I don't like to sit and analyze stuff. I like to feel. Because that's what it's all about, really. It's with, if it hit my soul. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm finna do <laughs> Shine On You Crazy Diamond, part one. I like these synthesizers, man. This sounds like the beginning of like a suspenseful movie, like something coming, like something crazy, something crazy is about to happen. Hold up.
Come on, bruh. It's crazy right now, dog. It's crazy as hell. I'm talking about this guitar is singing straight gospels right now. This guitar is singing hymns, dog. Guitar telling me a story right now. That intro was crazy, bro. I like that blues vibe, dog. Ooh. Come on. This is too much, bro. Oh, I love the synthesizer right here, dog. Come on. Oh man, this snare sounds so motherfucking crisp, dog. Damn. Come on, man. That guitar is, that guitar preaching right now, dog. Come on, give us the word, dog. Give us the word, fam. Give us the word, fam.
Hold up, before they start singing, man. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Well, that guitar just blessed us with a sermon. That guitar just blessed us, man, with a motherfucking, with a motherfucking soliloquy from heaven. I'm trying to breathe that in for a second, dog. I got to breathe that shit in, man. I got to let that bitch breathe for a minute. I'm eight minutes in, y'all. And it feels like I've been in this motherfucker for three minutes. This, this guitar, this music has warped time and space in itself and pushed me further than what I felt like I was in. Like that beginning of that piece, dog, was like some astral projection type shit, fam. Next level, dog. Fuck my water, man. Let's fucking go. Come on, man. Now there's a look in your eyes. Mm. Woo. Like black holes in the sky. Shine on your crazy diamond. You were caught in the crossfire. The childhood stood up. Yeah, yeah. The sax, come on. Yeah, yeah. the saxophone having dialogue with my soul right now. I like to switch up.
Hey, bro. <laughs> so many things could be said right now. So many. But sometimes you just need to say nothing at all and let that bitch breathe and just be in the moment of that shit. That's what I'm doing right now. Let that bitch breathe, bro. Let that bitch breathe. I ain't got shit to say. I ain't got shit to say. I ain't got shit to say.